the moment you have been waiting for. The announcement of our 2015 Operale winners. So I have here the envelopes. And, uh, okay. We are going to start determining the prices of the Sassuela singers. Uh, these uh, prices that we, we created to for um, a, a lady and a gentleman that will uh, be, according to the jury, um, the best singers for the Sarsuela. And we have the Sarsuela prize for the male prize, tenor Ioan Hotea. The Sarsuela Prize uh, for a female voice, the, uh, of course, the, the name of the prize that you want, it has the name of my father, Placido Domingo Ferrer. And uh, the prize for the lady is the name of my mother, Pepita and Bill. The Korean soprano, Heisen Park. Now you can bring the Chateau Margot. <laughs> okay, the prize of Culturarte Prize in Puerto Rico from my friends uh, um, Guillermo and Bertita Martinez it goes to the Australian soprano Tiandra Howard. Now the prize uh, for the Placido Domingo Birgit Nilsson Prize, it goes to Lisa Davidson. I wouldn't be surprised if one day you will hear her in a performance of San Jose singing again, Dich soy de Halle, okay? <laughs> but now we go to the, directly to the prices. Now we go to the third, second, and first. So the third prize for the boys of the gentleman, male, it goes to Bariton Edward Parks. The third prize for a lady, for the female prize, it goes to Nolu Pofu, <laughs> South African soprano. The 
second prize for a male singer. It goes to tenor Darren Penn Patty. Second prize for a female voice, it goes to Korean soprano Miss Hye Sang Park. Okay, so this is exciting. The first prize, I'm sorry, means the winner of Operalia 2015 for male voice, Romanian tenor Ioan Hotea. First prize, so it means the winner of Operalia 2015 for a female voice, it goes to soprano Lisa Davidson. Before we announce this year's audience prize winners, your prize, I would like to welcome Mr. David Cutler from Rolex to say a few words and help me present the prize. Please. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's been an absolute delight this evening to witness the very last stages this year's Operalia competition. Tonight we've heard moving performances from some of opera's brightest young stars, all of whom I'm sure had promising careers ahead of them in this most treasured art form. All of them should be congratulated on their talent, their hard work, and their dedication. Rolex is incredibly proud of its association with Maestro Plasto Nudo, an association that goes back more than 30 years. We're also proud to have supported Operalia since the year 2001. In that time, many famous names have emerged from this inspiring competition, names now known to and enjoyed by opera lovers globally. Tonight's performers will doubtless go on to achieve similar recognition. 
Thank you, Maestro, for your generosity in creating such a wonderful platform from which to acknowledge and promote young talent. Thank you also to our friends here at the Royal Opera House, providing us with such a special venue for the proceedings. The relationship we have with you here at Covent Garden is also incredibly special to us here at Rolex. Thank you to the orchestra, who have provided such a wonderful backdrop for the voices that we've heard tonight. And thank you, of course, to the jury members for playing such an important role in the competition. Before closing, I would like to acknowledge the presence tonight in our midst of Dame Kiri Takanoa. Rolex is honoured to have, been, have had a friendship with Dame Keary, also dating back over 30 years. And it's particularly special to have you here tonight. Thank you. Rolex has supported the arts for many years and will continue to support the arts for many years to come. And how reassuring is it to know that there's such talent around us to support. Thank you very much. Okay, so I hear that you are with us, Kitty. That's beautiful. So you should be very proud that you have a country fellow, you know, so uh, someone from New Zealand uh, tonight among the winners. So I remember, so you know, we did uh, a few years back, Manon Lesco here. That was our last um, opera here. And, uh, you know, it took them 30 years to do it again, you know. So <laughs> they did it beautifully, and uh, but I, I can never forget our production. Okay, we'll see you in a moment. But now we are going to announce the price uh, of the public. And I tell you, it has been tough, you know. I mean, it was difficult for the judges to to give the prices, but also for the public has been very tough. The, between the first sec place and the second place, it was uh, as a first place or second place, so which means it's the winner and uh, no winner. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was three votes, three votes in the, for the gentlemen, and for the ladies it was something like, yeah, very little, I mean, when you are thinking about about 15 or 16, you know, I mean, it is really, it was never, never that tough. But okay, to be brief, uh, the Rolex audience prize for the male voice watch offered by Rolex, it goes to tenor Darren Penn Patty. audience prize for the female voice, watch offered by Rolex, of course, it goes to soprano Lisa Davidson. Yeah. 